All right, so let's have a quick look at how we can set up a cookie consent banner to be compliant with uh, the GDPR laws of Europe and also the CCPA laws of California. So this is very important and uh, actually very easy to do as well. And just to clarify a quick disclaimer, this is not under any circumstance legal advice. Make sure you know the rules that applies to your business. This is just what I use in my business. Again, this is connected to our website. So we will go to uh, the Cheetah website builder. And from here, we actually need to uh, just find our website, hit the three dots and go to settings. And then on uh, this side, you can see that if we scroll down, Buildroll actually has its own GDPR settings. Uh, however, I'm not sure that this uh, banner actually also blocks the cookies so that they're not activated uh, if the user says that they don't want to have those cookies activated. Uh, so I'm not using this one. Instead, I'm using a service from this company, cookiefirst.com, and I will make sure to leave a link below. Now, the good thing here is that they actually scan our site to see what cookies we are using, and then they will block those cookies until we get the consent from our visitors so that we are in compliant with the laws and that no cookies are being used unless we get that consent. And also our visitors will be able to go in at a later point and change uh, their consent. All right, so there's actually a couple of reasons that I'm using cookies first. Uh, I've tried uh, a couple of different services, some of them bad, some of them good. Uh, I will probably make a review on this on a later stage, but uh, this is the one that I thought has the best interface, is very easy to work with, and they also have a very good pricing. So uh, as you see, they have a free plan and they have this basic plan and the plus plan. I am trying out the basic plan right now, thinking of going to the plus plan uh, in a later stage. Anyways, all we have to do to uh, get started with this is just to come back up here and hit the start here button and then fill out this form and accept the terms and conditions and hit the sign up button. And then once we are inside the dashboard, we will get the chance to try out uh, the different plans for free. Now, as I already have a account, I will just log into my account instead. And then I will add the domain I want to use this for. So I just hit add domain and put in the domain name that we're using. Just add a name that's for our own, that's for our own recognition. And then the URL. Okay, and choose the plan. And so I'm gonna go with a free trial here. And then hit save. All right, and now what I need to do is go into the settings. First off, we have our banner settings and I want to show the privacy policy link. I want to enable the floating button to change cookie settings after consent. I want to activate the uh, accept all button. Um, I do not want to show the category switch on banner. In this case, um, I don't want to hide it. I do want to show the language switcher. So I'm going to enable that. And uh, I'm also going to enable the Google consent mode. And I'm going to leave this as is disabled. Tabs on the uh, preference center. I will have the settings, cookies, cookie policy, and uh, turn on the user data as well. And uh, the cookie categories used on this site, uh, I'm going to assume it will be all of these eventually. And then uh, pre-selected categories, I will also pre-select all of these so that they are pre-selected, meaning that when people accept, they will actually run. And consent lifetime, a year by default, you could change this to three months, six months or nine months. 
uh, if you want then we're gonna hit save and now we're gonna go down to the custom styling here and uh, whether we want it to be a uh, full banner or maybe a banner box uh, to the left top so let's keep it at that and then uh, we can enable the dark overlay below banner and we could also have a heavy box shadow square round rounded let's say we want it rounded and in her website font i think that's a good idea to keep it congruent with our website we don't need to care about the advanced stylings we could if we want for now this is going to be fine so i'm just going to hit save and uh, there we are scripts uh, this one we don't need to care about right now uh, however this one custom content uh, as you can see you can manage a lot of languages and it will detect the language preferred by the person visiting our site uh, and display the banner in their language but only if you add this language here uh, so in this case i'm just going to add all languages uh, i don't see a reason why not uh, to do that but uh, since it's also going to fall back on the first language on this list if they can't detect it uh, i am going to move up English as the first language here uh, like that all right and now we are coming to the embed script here what we need to do is only copy this script here come back to our cheetah builder and now uh, I'm gonna go up to scripts and here make sure that you're actually on your web page so if i go out just to show you very quickly again uh, make sure you're not on a uh, specific page but your actual website so under these and then settings here uh, and then you will find the script right there just have to paste the script hit save and then republish our site And now if we come out here and go to our website uh, we should be able to see this all right so i guess we just have to refresh our site a couple of times because it's catched right now so just refresh it until the banner shows up and there we are uh, so now you can see we have the banner here except all deny or adjust and then uh, you have this and now these are already pre-selected since that's what we uh, decided that we want okay so uh, when they accept here this little icon will stay there so that you could easily go back in here and change if you want to change something here very very simple so uh, that is how we set up our uh, cookie content banner in the most easy way uh, possible i think and it works very well and it's uh, very professional for no to a very small fee but still very very important all right and so now that that's set the next thing we're going to look at is how we can set up our legal pages very very important same thing here we need to be compliant with the law and make sure that we have our privacy policy in place and all the other legal pages that we might need in our business so that we don't get a hefty fine for not being compliant with the law so make sure to watch that video next